Okay, I think I got it. Oh, man. I'm taking the power strip and the smoothie. When can I expect the rest? The smoothie? Of the rent. I'm asking for a race tomorrow at Martin's Computers. Do you think you're gonna get it? Think of it as store policy firing you. I could work here. Please, you don't know the first thing about arranging. You're Ethan, aren't you? Your mother brags about you. In what way? You talk Lexi into ending it with her boyfriend. Kinda. Can you get rid of my daughter's boyfriend? Mm -mm. I'll pay you. Great doing business with you. You'd be surprised how many parents dislike their daughter's boyfriends. There is no reason Mitchell should be settling. She's a food server. The job should be easy. I don't have any experience breaking up boys from their girlfriends. It's always been the other way around. Mess this up and you'll never get another job. How am I supposed to break these two up? They're the perfect couple. It's like we're made for each other. His name's Brian. And you don't like him. I don't want her wasting her life with this boy. She sings at the Green Lady Lounge. Emily? You've been in love with Emily since the third grade. No one's ever gonna measure up. That's probably true. Every day. I'm not gonna do this. I'm making them all rational thought when I'm around here. You are a really cool jazz, um, cat up there. I think I might actually have a chance with Emily. For the first time ever, I'm starting to doubt her. Because it's the first time it hasn't been just a fantasy. Your eyes, your eyes, your smile. You're in love. Emily! I am not interested. I know you, Ethan. You're a man of action, not work. You can't expect love to come fall on your lap. You gotta go get it. You know, I lip sync to my songs. No, you don't. You almost bought it. No, not even close. <laughs>